Hello everyone, thank you for joining back into Anno 1800, my name is Axfield and I'm currently busy with Season 3 of the Anno playthrough and I thought I'll do another playthrough in celebration of the new official mod support uh, that they've got uh, for Anno 1800 so when you go into the game you'll see that you've got a mod browser now that you can access off the title screen and you can literally access any mods that you want from there so in celebration of that I'm going to do the playthrough I've incorporated all my favorite mods really and also I think the best mods so if you would like to follow this series please remember to press the like and subscribe button as well as the bell notification maybe to get some inspiration and also to have a look at the mods that are available I'm not using all of them but uh, like I said I personally feel it's it's the best mods for me and also my favorite so there's probably between 30 and 35 mods that i'm incorporating into the game it is listed on the description of the video so you can check it out okay so i finished here yeah, building the police station which looks really amazing and uh, it does look suitable for 1800 design i must say and um so i've decided to use this design i've also seen with the school they've got their own design for the school right so the here you can see this is the normal design that we've got there but if you press shift and v you can scroll onto the next one and uh, there you can see uh it kind of looks like the monastery that you get um within i believe it's in anno 1700 you get these monasteries and um yeah i think it's based on that design so it's a 1700 design um, but it kind of works uh, for the setting and um, so we're going to check it out now I must maybe use that one i'm going to just drop off the cargo that i got here from archibald i'm also busy with a quest now for eli um, just picking up some flotsam here so let's just go ahead and collect all of that so now my next step is to build a secondary island so obviously i've got now this island here which already gives me the potatoes the grain red peppers and the grape and a few of the minerals i don't really want to do any production on this island i want to make it like a full out um like city the whole island and uh, because there's a few monumental buildings that we're going to place here which is big and it's going to take up a lot of space so i want to make sure um, that i do have enough space for all of that so i'm going to do all my production on the secondary island and um this is a pretty good island okay so we've got the zinc and we've got the iron which we don't have a lot of and um so this might actually be a good one but i'm looking for a fur abundance as well so i might actually use this one i think this is what i originally decided on so yeah i think i'm gonna go ahead with this island over here so and i can maybe just uh in this little corner over here i can do like a small town and we can connect a commuter pierce now from worker level which is one of the mods that I've got so I think it w it's gonna be good to just build a base on this island over here and we can do our starting harbor over here and we can also build a pier over here so that it's easy accessible between the two islands okay but I'm gonna go ahead and further expand here with the town just build a few more extra farmer houses I do have an old town design for the farm houses but uh, I actually don't like it that much uh, I'm not gonna bother with that gonna just carry on building on this side uh, let's just do that okay so I just must also keep an eye on my production to make sure that I've got enough stock of everything for everyone so another thing is I don't have any clay production going on this island which is kind of a bummer but uh, we've got three clay pits on this side so another good reason to just use uh, this island to settle on uh, to do my production of with and um, I think before I carry on let's maybe go ahead and do some soap production over here so I'm gonna just go ahead and plop down another two of the pig farms and um, I'm gonna do some more grain over here I'll move everything across eventually. Um, see, that's not the old town design I've got there. I'm gonna just place another two here, so I want to have enough grain for the silos, which we then use for the pigs. There we go. Okay, so that should just support the pigs now. And uh, let's just go ahead and plop down 
a silo over here, and the same on this side, really. Okay, there we go. Nice, fits in perfectly. Literally just fits in perfectly. Right there, it looked as if it was slightly going to squeeze, but it, it seems to work there. Okay. Next thing, I want to get the rendering works up in here. Up and running, maybe just one soap factory for now. And I'm going to just go ahead and upgrade uh, this warehouse over here as well. I need actually a few pieces of timber, but uh, that should build up pretty quickly. Let's just go ahead and finish this quest here for Eli. And uh, I'm going to also go ahead and go back to Archibald to see to get some more um, construction material. Pull up your braces, righty ho. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, I can actually use my schooner to pick up those things for Archibald. The message in a bottle. Ready for assignment. Um. Here we go. Uh, we assist however there was a little bit of a delayed reaction there. Okay, so we're going to pick up the flotsam. The message in the bottle Justice was for Eli. The flotsam is actually for Archibald. Okay, cool. And um, I've got enough timber now, so I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this warehouse over here. So we're going to be able now to supply the town with the soap as well. And uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this space over here for the school. So let's just check this out. I want to see. Uh, this looks really nice. Uh, we need 25 bricks. So I'll, I'll sort that out soon. But uh, I kind of like this design. It's, it's hard to tell really with the blueprint mode. But from what I can see, it actually suits, um, you know, the police station. It's also got the same. It's almost like a, like a Russian style, you know, of architecture. Yeah, I would say it looks kind of it relates to that, really. Okay, let's just go and drop this Adjust off by sale. Archibald. And I'm going to get some more construction material over here. Let's just go ahead and get some extra timber as well. Right, and we can drop this off. I'm going to just upgrade this warehouse so that we can store a few more of our products in here. Okay, so we actually out of schnapps. Um, hmm, let's maybe just do another two farms maybe. So that we do have enough stock of everything. There we go. Okay, so we can do another two distilleries. Let me just place it like so, and I'm definitely going to need a fire station. I just want to see if they've got a different design for the fire station as well. And they actually don't. I think only when you get further with your, um, uh, maybe I think on the artisan level, I think you'll be able to unlock a new type of fire station. And I've also got this ability to put products like in um, river slots. You see, we can up, um, unlock that from the artisan level as well. And, um, but I don't know, I'm not seeing any actual river slots, like, you know, where you can um, place the items in. So there should be something indicating here by the river slots, but uh, it's not showing. So I don't know. That's kind of a bummer, really. I would have liked to incorporate that. So they say you get that for the new world as well, where you can utilize the river slots, but uh, there's just no river slots. So I don't know. Oh, that's just automatically not going to work for me. I don't know if I do anything wrong. If any of you know anything about the river slots, just let the me know. Is out of control. 
Steersman. Um, okay. Oh, I've got a fire station only here at the top. Oh, I'm gonna need another one. Alright, so let's just go ahead and place the school over here. They'll sort the fire out now. I'm gonna stress about that. Okay, I... I think I do like the design. Yeah. Kind of old school. It is, like I said, this comes... Um, if I'm not mistaken, this comes from the... NO 1700, I believe, this structure. So it does have a little bit of an older feel. See, there's like a little broken wall in there. And, uh... Oh, man. You can actually see this. It looks a bit strange. I don't know. Maybe I must just switch it up. <laughs> Let's just keep it to the original. It looked a bit funny at the bottom, so I'm not gonna... I think it's because of the steep slope, maybe. It looks a bit strange. Otherwise, I would have placed that one there. So obviously with some of the mods you might find um, a few problems or issues with it, but uh, nothing too serious. Uh, we've got some depots here that we can add uh, to the island. So I don't know, these small depots only gives an additional 25 ton storage, but the medium ones uh, gives 50, the same as the normal size depots. So that's quite nice, um, I think I would actually like to maybe place them here although they cost more on material ironically but they are definitely better to use you can you can do so much or so many depots here with those small ones okay so these two crates i need to deliver for madame kina there we go okay i'm just doing the quest as much as i can just to build up some of my money we are in a positive balance, that's also a good thing. Just want to see what other items we've got here that we can get from the mods. Um, so we've got this inn over here, which I believe acts like a pub. Your city has grown more beautiful. But it does give 20 attractiveness as well. Small amount of attractiveness for the city. Um, oh, okay, so it's only... A decorative building really okay it looks the same as a pub but it doesn't actually give you any service so you can see there there's no green line so that means it's just plainly for decorative purposes but it does give like 20 attractiveness so that's not bad hmm now where should I put this Oh, there's still a fire going. No wonder I'm still hearing the music. Okay, I do feel like placing the inn here somewhere. Hmm. Sorry, I've already got the inn. Just move this one. The fire left ruins behind. Okay, I don't know if this is the back or the front of the building. Um, let's just maybe turn it like this. Yeah, this looks more like the front. So what I was thinking, you know, it would actually be cool to maybe build like a like a wall around. See if that works. I don't know if these two walls, if they would link. And you know, if we did, for example, like a gate here. And so then there's almost like a courtyard for the inn. That's a nice idea. Or maybe do the towers on the corners. Not a bad idea though. I think let's try that maybe. 
It's gonna take a whole lot of building materials to get this up. But I think it will look nice at the end of the day. Oh, you got different towers. That's interesting. Let me just check this out. Okay, so we've got this tower. Uh, but this one's only unlocked at 600 artisans. So for some reason, when I select the blueprint, it chooses that one. That's a little bit of a glitch there. Okay. But uh, let's let's just do it like so, I think. I think this is going to look really cool. If we do like a type of courtyard here. Do a few trees, maybe flowers or something. There we go. The consumer professional. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. And uh, let's just maybe see to do like a type of court here. Um, Use the darker grass, I think. Let's do it like so. I'm gonna place the dark grass there. Oh no, they don't give me the option of the dark grass. Okay, never mind. that fence tree okay this is nice this is kind of more what i want so we can do the pavement like so just take the blueprint mode off there we go do the concrete you know this would really look nice um like in an industrial area as well you can see there's also like a drainage like a water drainage there that's really nice and so maybe then I'm going to just do something simplistic. Uh, let's just maybe do a few trees if I can. Um, with the pavement in. Something like this. But it won't look fitting with the concrete. Um, If I do it like so, that's actually not bad. I like it. Let's just do it like so. I'm going to leave this area open, this space. Otherwise, it's going to be too squashed. Yeah, let's just do it like so. Probably not the prettiest <laughs> decorative piece I've got here. But uh, I think it's going to look nice. I'm just like trying different things, you know. Utilizing all of the modes. Okay, let's just see. Yeah, uh, got another quest here from Eli. What I wouldn't. You're getting off lightly. We're actually getting a lot of quests here from the NPC. So I don't know. If I selected something that gives me more frequent quests. I'm not sure. I think I did choose normal mode, but in any case. So I do believe I've got enough residents now to upgrade to artisan level. Um, I've got everything that I need and the basic needs. So let's just maybe go ahead and upgrade them. Um, let's see. Uh, of the happiest, happiness needs, I've got three of the four. Um, I've got no lifestyle needs unlocked yet, but I'm not going to bother with that at this stage. I can only upgrade two artisan buildings now, but uh, let's just see here. I want to quickly have a look here at some of the decorative buildings that we can get from the mods. Um, 
Okay, we get this bigger lighthouse. Uh, that's pretty nice. All I ever desired was a place to live and work. And we've got this crane that we can build here as well, which is only for decorative purposes, but uh, I think it do look, look nice. Some ornamental crates. Got quite a few different ones there, even the white ones, we've got some wooden planks. And then here we've got some old town houses, this is interesting like to have a look at that okay cool gonna just get some more building material here from Archibald so I think it's gonna be a good time now just to move um, to the secondary island which is this one over here And I think I'm going to just set up a basic town. Just to start out with. Now I really want to get to the clay pits at this stage. That's the only thing I really want. So I'm going to just bring it across. Okay, so all our commodities are increasing, so that's a good thing. And uh, I'm gonna just maybe go ahead and upgrade a few more of the farmer houses right at the top. Let's maybe just do that five. There we go. And I can maybe add just a few more extra farmer houses over here, like so. Our city has grown more beautiful. Our spin, our spin, our spin. Okay, so that's the town's name for the new island. And let's just stick with that. It's <laughs> quite hard to pronounce. It's important to be true to oneself. Okay, so I want to go ahead and place the town here right at the top. Let's just pull it across like so. Here we go. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and use the old the old town marketplace. I kind of like it more than the marketplace that we've got here. Uh, this one looks very boring to me, in all honesty. Uh, this looks like a more proper marketplace. Right, and then from there I'm gonna need to start doing some more timber. Uh, let's just place everything here together. Okay, cool. So I just want to see what I need now to set up the commute up here. Um, okay, I'm going to need 30 steel. That's the first thing I'm going to need. I've got 22 here already, so that's okay. It's going to be easier to set this one up. 
but I need now a Khmer to be on both these islands and then I can at least, at least share the workforce and that's gonna just make things a little bit easier for me. Okay, you can see uh, the steel's building up pretty quickly here by Archibald, so I'm gonna have the amount that I need pretty soon. Okay, so Archibald is sending me on a destruction quest. So it's just this one frigate over here. That's easy enough. And let's just take that one out. And I uh, just want to finish also the quest here from Eli. We've got a few of the castaways. Just bring them back. Probably try to escape the prison. Ship under attack. Okay, so you can see my flagship did quick work with the frigate over here. Madam Keen has also got a quest here, but I'm not going to bother with that now. Okay, I think we should have enough steel here by Archibald now. He's also got a clipper here available that I can buy, so I think I'm going to also just do that. Her Majesty's finest. And this, this ship I'm going to use to do the first trade route that's going to run between Wilwo and Arspin. Ah, you're ready. That really is first rate. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I believe I've got enough steel now. Well, at least for the one island, that is. Okay, everything still looks good on this side. I'll be starting to produce beer here by Arfspin. Once I've got the commuter beer set up, then I can share the workforce. And uh, then I can just start doing like a hops and a wheat production over here and we can start doing the beer. And uh, the beer I'm going to split between the two islands. So I need to get a pretty big uh, production going here. And then I'm going to do the same obviously with all the other production that I've got. Let's just see what Madam Keen has got for us over I here. Okay, so it's just like a, another delivery quest over here. I'm gonna just go ahead and send one of the schooners. I'm gonna also go ahead and upgrade a few more of the farmer houses. So we are gonna start splitting um, the workforce between the two islands. So I can systematically just increase uh, the work of level here. And um, then once I've got some extra bricks, then I can also build a few more artisan houses. So the first thing that I've got unlocked here is the cannery, which we can do really because I've got the red pepper. So I can do it on this island. So maybe I'm going to just set up a small cannery like production over here. Just to get going with that and um, Making a little bit of extra bucks over there with the cans. Okay, so let's just check this out. Okay. I think I've got everything I need now here for the commuter here. There we go. And um, I think I need exactly eight steel beams for the other island. There we go. That's perfect. Oh, that's lovely. And that's exactly what I needed for the commutes up here. So now I can share the workforce and uh, this is going to make it a, a lot easier to get the production going. And um, then once this commute up here is activated, then I'm going to start with the brickworks um, on the other island on Arspin. Here we go. Okay, so we're sharing the workforce now. Oh, not yet, actually. 
Ah, there we go. I thought something's wrong here. Ta-da! I'm just gonna build a fire station over here. I don't know, for some reason the commute up here sometimes catches light, so... Just need to have that extra, call it, protection over there. And I'm gonna just build this at former house. I think I'm gonna set up a nice fishery here at the bottom. I have to pull the road through now in any case, so... Let's just do that. cool so i'm gonna just do the, the brickworks here and then i'm also gonna set up the, the the fishery and do a proper fishery over here and just add the body house nice there we go Okay, cool. Uh, let's just go ahead and place the fishery down. Now that warehouse, I believe, is also from the 1700, uh, or it's either 1700 or 1400. Uh, that warehouse design. Go. We've got the fishery up, and we're going to need a big uh, weaver setup going over here. So I think I'm going to add the, with the sheep farms. I'm going to add the silos as well. We're going to have the granary going here at the top, or the grain farms. Sorry, you just pull this road all the way. Um, let's maybe put it through like so. And connect it there. And uh, I think it might be a good idea just to leave a little gap in case I do need to electrify it. Let's just do it like so. Now with this um, game that I'm playing now, I've got one of the mods which is called Nate's Windmill. So that's like, um, like a modern wind turbine really. So that windmill is going to help that everything that's in range, production buildings or I believe houses as well, that's within range of those windmills that will actually generate electricity for anything within that range. So yeah, we can always use that. I don't have to build all these lines, um, you know, just to get electricity. It's now an easy solution just to have those wind turbines you can set up. Only downside about those wind turbines is they've got a very f small range. So yeah, I don't know might not be as effective but we're gonna give it a go okay let's just maybe start with the first two grain farms Okay, and I'm gonna just set up a flower, flower mill over here, and then two bakeries uh, just to get going. I like this one with the three chimneys over here. I'm gonna just go ahead and do two of them. There we go. Nice. Okay, so I'm gonna need some additional bricks over here. I am starting to produce the bricks now, so that's okay. That should sort itself out pretty quick. And uh, yeah, then we're gonna do the steel production as well. So I'm gonna take all the minerals that I've got on this island, and at least we do have a whole lot of coal. 
which is really sweet. It's going to come in handy. And we're going to just transport all of this across from this island, from Wilwo to Arfspin, and then we're going to do like an industrial, well, it's going to be like a mini industrial really. I want to focus more on do, doing agricultural items over here. So for now, um, I'm going to transport everything towards this island, and then until we've got a production island up and running, which I don't know if this might be a good one. Um, now this island is too big to just use for production, but uh, maybe I should do this one. I think this might be fine. We can start here at the bottom. It's a nice open space. We've got uh, plenty of coastline, which we need for the piers, so I think that might work. You have something for me, don't you? Quick and clean. I'm okay, let's just build up the worker force here. I'm gonna just kind of like place it like so. Alright, and then I'm gonna just wait for my building material to build up there a little bit. And uh, I'm gonna just maybe go fetch a few more Ordnance items spotted. here from Archibald. See, I'm in a pretty big deficit at this stage, but uh, I'll build that up now. just maybe set up a pub here for them just to make them a little bit more happy oh, I didn't even know there's like an alternative pub here I didn't check that out but this really looks cool I kind of like this yeah oh, they can sit there at the back as well yeah I like that yeah let's maybe do this one that's pretty nice uh, I'm gonna do the same on the other island. Let's just change the pubs up. Now uh, there's only the two alterations. There we go. Nice. Yeah, that looks really cool. I like that, and you got a combination of a few more uh, taller buildings there. Scooped us out of the gutter, you did. Let's maybe see if I can pro provide a few of the lifestyle needs. So the only thing at this stage that I can provide is the beef. So let's maybe do that. I'm going to just set up um, two cow farms maybe. wrong now. Here we go. That's it. Okay, I'm gonna just place those two. I think that should be sufficient for the workers that we've got now. And then we can just unlock that lifestyle need for them. And uh, we're gonna get a few more extra coins there. Um, so six coins per house. And um, I think that should balance out uh, our income over here, so that we can go into a positive balance.
I'm gonna maybe just go ahead and do that like so and we can do like a little decorative piece here on this little square over there okay guys but that's it from me for today's episode uh, my main focus was to set up the commuter pier and to just establish the second island for now and uh, at least we've got the production going now here for the brickworks and uh, yeah i want to thank you for watching and then i'm going to see you within the next one and then i'm gonna probably unlock the new world within the next one and uh, just get a few of the more advanced production going thank you so much for watching see you in the next one Bye-bye.